Hello everyone, my name is Martin Isma. Today I'm going to show you how to build the VVC known as a versatile video cottage. Before we get started, uh, you need the requirements to build the VVC for Windows by Visual Studio 2017 and later. Kit for Windows and CMake are three required. For Mac OS, you need CMake and the Xcode and the Linux for KCC and the CMake. The additional features are available by MSYS2 and the Media Auto Build Tools. You can check two repositories of VVNC and VVTech from uh, Fraunhofer HHI and have a look at uh, wiki to make you a little bit understand. So let's do this. So first we need to build the uh, uh, kit to windows. So it's a uh, kit dash smg.org. Then go to downloads. We're going to select windows and 64 bit kit for windows. So I already downloaded the kit. So and next up is uh, cmaker.org. Download the latest uh, release and just uh, install CMake Windows. Now I already downloaded, so let's just download KIT first and then CMake. Press yes, next. Click allow everything. And once the kit is installed, then we're going to move next one. Um, CMake installations. Once you have a CMake installations, I accept the terms. Now we have to we have to tick uh, add CMake to the system path for all the users and the create CMake desktop icon. Next and click install and yes for him restore the privileges. So once once it's done. Now we're going to install Visual Studio Installer and now we're going to click continue. You're gonna download the Visual Studio so I'm so I'm selecting I'm selecting community 2022. Now once the Visual Studio installer is opened and we have to scroll down until we see desktop developed with C tick a box and I will take off a Windows 11 system key. It's it's optional, guys. So if you wanna, you can just leave it. At the, you can just leave it. At check on, but I but but my just uh, optional personal. I just take off Windows 11 system key and put Windows 10 system key. So once you reviewed, click install button. If you are ready to go. And after Visual Studio is installed, then you have to uh, restart the uh, computer. Now we have to do a click kit clone uh, dev one HTTPS kit hop dot com and VLC and press enter, and that should clone. Do the same thing. And VVTech is already cloned. Now we're going to open the uh, CMake. All right. So we have to find the where's the source code. VVNC. So VVNC. Browse build. Make a new folder build. And the press configure a button. So I'm going to choose x64. So if you have uh, installed like 22, you can select the uh, Visual Studio 17 2022. So I'm going to choose Visual Studio 17 2022 and the x64. Now click finish button. Now this should do selecting. Now this wait for wait until configuring is done. Okay, so once configuring is done, I mean it's just click a generate a button and open the project. Then we have to change from debug to release 
and we chose x64 now we're going to build and build solutions now this should take a time so we're done and the 8 succeeded and do the same thing like a VV deck for command line users so let's just set cd a vnc so we're going to make the make to build cd build and the scene make dot dot and there we go which is studio 17 2022 is now configuring i mean cmake is configuring it this should take a time and once it's configuring the, it done then we're going to type cmake uh, dash dash build dot config release and to do the same thing like a vv deck as well so once it is done now i just to uh, go to bin the release is static and uh, type the vvnc app and there you go it's installed so i'm in, in my repository uh, vvc ec so if you can't build it and or un don't understand you can just go you can have a local VVC build from the build for bin and that's where we'll go. And if you want to install um, Windows uh, Windows uh, for VVC tools, you can click on it and uh, also download the 7zip.org uh, to decompress uh, the file like I'm using 7c so I was just like downloading raw file and then let's just save let's just save and we open that one and so we're going to choose x64 x64 next time and and there you go that's I compiled it uh, by uh, Visual Studio 15 uh, 2017 uh, for Windows XP but for Windows XP support. Yeah. Now, if you want to uh, play uh, versatile video cutters, here's a, so I recommend the MPV uh, to play the versatile video cutters audio. Uh, including support X E A S E or uni uni unified speech audio coding and that's um if you are familiar with the qi you can just download windows npf.net and that should be good to go and you can check my test video if you like it and download and test it out so i'm just so let's try a tears of steel that's just made from uh, planter um, the lens and i am going to download um for example i'm going to download 480p and the download it can starts until it finishes you can download Windows MPF.net as well. So click the download button and it should be good to go. Tears of Steel 480p. Yes. It's done. So I already downloaded MPF.net, so I just want to show you a thing. We can install a lot filter uh, with uh, any like direct show players like uh, NBC. Uh, he, you know, I already did. Um, install um or install VLC plugins. Just to follow things and uh, scroll down until you see copy your code following and that in the terminal and that should be good to go. If you are in roaming, roaming like app data, you have to replace the program files by app data roaming video land VLC and yeah
Mac OS VVC can be used by Mac OS X64 Intel and the ARM for M1 and M2. Linux VVC as well. You can download it. It's it's very easy and uh, you have to do like we if you if you downloaded the Linux VVC and uh, then uh, you have to you have to type a cmod plus x uh, vnc app example before you run and the, and then the run dot slash vnc app and that should work okay so once the versatile video cartridge is done all right so here's my mbf.net i'm going to drag it down and that's it. The VVC is here. So I'm just gonna pause it a while. So as you can see, the versatile video cartridge is decoding from uh, external libvdiv. And uh, yeah, it's like a, it's like a, you can play. It's very easy to play the versatile video cartridge file and for VLC uh, if you want to open it so it only works a raw bit streams no not mb4 okay so let's just try vvc.2 and 66 and there you go there you go it's detected and uh, it only remember it only plays a raw bit stream, so no MBO for supported. So I have to do later. And if you have any questions or, or issues, uh, feel free uh, to open the issue and uh, just check out uh, with the other information and uh, go to wiki and uh, you can find out all things and you can build. So this is. So as I said, Visual Studio VT 2017 uh, I used. KC 5.0 is Linux and Mac OS is Xcode. And you can follow whatever you want. To encode the video, you need FFPNG with uh, my custom build uh, by clicking ffpngvvc.md. Go down into you see a download uh, and download it. Or FastFlex, or FastFlex, you can download it. I'll leave in a quick link's description below. For FAPNG, you can encode video by FAPNG underscore BBC easy dash I example dot mb4 whatever video file name dash c2 dots via libvnc dash qp32 dash present medium dash b2 dots v stupid rates and finally I'll put the mp4, whatever output video file name that you want it, to name it. For first flick, so you need custom FFPNG build downloaded to rename into FFPNG and FFprobe. So first of all, first download the portable fast flick, the latest versions and custom build FFPNG, decompress it, then rename only for FFPNG and FFprobe. But uh, underscore vvc easy into native names and then run the executable of a fast flex you can easily click a source uh, you can easily click source a uh, file that you want to find uh, any video file after that select the vvc change from a uh, mkv matroska to mp4 container mbg4 then customize the quality and audio encoding settings by your own choice whatever you want after after customizing video and audio encoding then press convert button and there you go for playback uh, you can use a vlc media player with vvc plugin but only plays a raw bit stream or or else uh, on my media players are supported by mbf media player any lab filters direct show Windows players and the MBC uh, H -E Home Cinema version 2 with the lab filters. I'll leave it as well in the description below. 
If you want to compile FAPNG on Windows, here is easy for you. Method 1, Media Audio Build Tools. It is recommended for this method, but only compiles of VVC in binaries without FAPNG or ABF. If you want it, you need to go to Brown uh, Offer HHI VMC VK from GitHub and look FAPNG integrations. Click it and that should give you instructions. Method 2, MSVice 2 for compiling FAPNG custom build alternative wave. Step 1, download and, and install MSYS2. Step 2, after you installed, search up MSYS2 Ming V64 and run the program. Step 3, before, before building FPRG, make sure that MSYS2 is latest update by pacman-cyu. If a core requires a restart on MSYS2, you need to press Y for yes. When you when do accident, run MSYS2 again. Step 4. After updating your core MSYS2, run a pacman-syu again to receive the latest updates. Step 5. Install a widget, pacman-syu and run the download script file widget https to dots slash astro dot github user code dot com slash martinisma slash vvc easy slash master that slash ffpng mean qi dot sh step six finally run the script and wait until build com compilations is completed so that is all my new vvc tutorial 2033 if you have any questions or issues please leave in the comment below so i can reply as possible you can check out my github repository and have a look for like folders and and the uh, mbv and fbpht and whatever so also you can join my matrix and uh, revolt and discord community and other communities that we can help you in the description below so bye